There are more water molecules in this cup of water than there are cups of water in all the world's ocean. That's how small molecules are. So what that means is if I take this and toss it out, there's enough molecules in what I toss to enter every other possible cup of water anyone draws from the world's water supply. There's enough to scatter to every possible cup of water in the world. So if I drink this, it comes back out of my body in some way or another, any one of a half dozen ways. That re-enters the environment, goes to clouds, it goes to the streams, goes to the oceans, and given enough time, it mixes completely. So, Socrates drank a glass of water. It is a certainty, it's essentially a certainty, that some molecules that passed through his kidney were in that glass that you just drank. And it's not only that, by the same reasoning, there are more molecules of air in every breath you draw than there are breaths of air in all the Earth's atmosphere. So by the same calculation, every breath you take, some of those molecules pass through the lungs of whatever is your favorite historical character, Jesus. You want to think of us as separate and distinct from one another or not connected to the world, but we are. And for me, what I think of as fascinating ways.